PFAs found in the blood of 98% of Americans tested. I'm Dr. David Morris with Magnolia Medical Center here in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. We are a root cause functional medicine clinic. We've been doing root cause medicine. I've been practicing for 28 years. You could look up an alternative doctor or a functional medicine practitioner on the internet. We've been doing root cause medicine for a long time. My providers, we've got a combined 60 years of experience in this field. And our whole mission every day is to come to work, to help people avoid the use of drugs and surgeries. What are PFAs? Okay, PFAs are polyfluoroalkyls or perfluoroalkyls. 98% of Americans tested have detectable levels above normal for these types of chemicals. What do these chemicals do? Why is this important? Folks, they interrupt your hormones. They interrupt your gut bacteria, which is needed for your gut to be healthy. If your gut's not healthy, your brain's not healthy. These chemicals are called forever chemicals. They're so small, they lodge in your tissues. They're very hard to get rid of. And I think it's important just to give you an idea of how pervasive these chemicals are in your environment. So I'm going to give you a few examples of things that as a husband, as a father, these are things that when I found out these chemicals were in these types of things, I was shocked. Even though I'm in the root cause functional medicine world my whole life, it made me rethink how I need to take care of my own health and the health of my own personal family. Where are these chemicals found? So they're found in your cookware. They're found found in those non-stick cookware. Throw those things out. Even if you just bought them, they're no good. I don't care if you spent the money on the high-end stuff. They're not good, okay? On another note, neither is aluminum cookware. Stainless steel, porcelain, these are good cookware. But the Teflon, the non-stick cookware, loaded with PFAs, you're heating them up, you're hyperheating those things, and those things are leaching into your food and you're getting these chemicals in your body. It's horrible for you. Another source, this is personal to me because my wife, still in the time of her life where she's having a menstrual cycle. Two daughters, same thing. Tampons, feminine hygiene products, PFAs loaded in these things. If you're a female or you're a male and you have family members that are female that you care about. Another one that shocked me regarding my daughters, because I have a 14 year old and a 17 year old at the time of filming this, is well, something called, and I know guys, you're not going to want to hear this, but period panties loaded with PFAs. PFAs are found in these underwear that women are wearing around their cycle. Now, not all brands are found to contain this, but a lot of them do. The feminine hygiene one was big because I really truly care about my daughter's health. I want to be a grandfather one day. I don't want them disrupting their hormones and making them infertile and things like that. Another thing is tattoos. The chemicals in certain tattoo ink have PFAs in them. These are horrible for your health. You need to talk to your tattoo artist to make sure they're not using those type of chemicals in your skin. They're already hard to detoxify. You're putting them in a permanent ink in your body. Not good. Another shocking place. This one, I was like, wow, this is going to impact a lot of people's lives is flea and tick prevention in your animals. So when you're talking about your cat, or your dog and you're putting that flea and tick collar or the flea and tick stuff on their neck or however you're getting those flea and tick preventions to them, they're loaded with PFAs. You might say, oh, I don't want to do that to my dog. Of course, we want to protect the health of our loved ones, including the fur babies, right? We want them to live as long as possible. We want them to be healthy and those chemicals are going to impact your pets. However, the thing that was going to impact you the most is that petting your dog, petting your cat, having them sleep next to you and having their skin and their fur be up against your skin means you are been proven are going to get a transference of those chemicals that you gave to your dog or cat over into your body. We wonder why we're having such high levels of cancer. Wonder why we're having such high levels of infertility. So many men and women having hormone problems. We're just bombarding our bodies with these PFAs, these chemicals that are in nearly everything. And if you don't know they're there, then you can't take action to fix them. We've seen lots of women over the years and they're like, I don't understand why I can't get pregnant. Couples coming in are looking to fix and handle their fertility. We're not fertility specialists at all. I could say, I don't even remember a time we weren't able to significantly improve. And there's lots of babies out on the planet because of what my team has done to help people detoxify from these types of chemicals. One last thing, just a little bonus on this, pesticides, apples, strawberries, lots of fruits are sprayed with pesticides. Lots of vegetables are sprayed with pesticides. 
lots of PFAs on these things. Minimally, you're gonna really wanna wash your fruits and vegetables before consuming them. Minimally, try to wash off pesticides as possible. You're not gonna be able to get it all out. I don't remember the name of the product, but a lot of my viewers on TikTok and other social media know that I'm not particularly a fan of Bill Gates' policies and what he does. I don't particularly think he has the health and interest of the population of this planet when he's making decisions. And that's, we'll just keep it light there for a minute. You know, hopefully it won't uh, shut down the algorithm, but he came up with a spray or a coating to put on your fruits and vegetables. Horrible stuff, okay? You don't want to be consuming these things. Anyway, leave me some comments below. Let me know what you think of this subject. Let me know if this is shocking to you. Let me know if you know of other things that you were shocked to hear that had PFAs in it, maybe from other sources on social media. But the things that can most help me out is to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. I'm Dr. David Morris of Magnolia Medical Center. Thanks for watching.